Hi friends, thanks so much for being here. In this video, we'll be unboxing the Wizarding Trunk bi-monthly subscription box with the theme Magical Shops. You guys might know that I recently became a rep for the Wizarding Trunk. Yeah, little me. <laughs> I'm still kind of like shocked about it and awestruck. But um, yes, I'm a rep. So if you want to use my discount code Leander10, definitely do to get 10% off. And to my big surprise, I also got the bi-monthly box. I honestly thought that being a rep for a certain box meant that I just got that box. So maybe this was a mix up or maybe this was just the wisdom trunk being really, really sweet. But I also got this one, so yay. And as you know, I live in Europe, so overseas for all you American folks, uh, that means this parcel takes a lot longer to get to me. So you've probably already seen some other boxings. <laughs> Uh, of the wizarding trunk but um yeah also guys i got this amazing beautiful ravenclaw magical shirt uh, i got it from ali over at magical alley she is just a sweetheart we've been wanting to meet for a while now we were planning to go to new york together but as you may know my trip got cancelled so only Tabby and Ali could go there. But we're doing it again. We're going to try again this November to the Wizarding World in Orlando. So fingers crossed. Anyways, thank you Ali for this amazing shirt. And while I'm saying thank you, thank you to my patrons because you guys are the best. And if you want to support me or check out my Patreon for exclusive content, definitely do. Any pledge will help. Uh, just go over to patreon.com, type in my name, or click on the link in my description. Let's take the first look. I'm already seeing something that is very, very exciting. So there's this piece of paper that is on top, and this says, Spy Spectres Reveals Invisible Magical Pests by Wittershins Joke Shop. And if you've gotten boxes from the Wizarding Trunk before, you know that Wittershins is their variant of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. So this must mean that there are Spectre Specs in this box. I don't own a pair of Spectre Specs and I've always wanted them. I have like a Luna shelf over there. Oh, it's just right out of shop, but it's right over there, I promise. Oh, I'm going to be able to take so many good pictures with this. These are coming with me <laughs> to the Wizarding World, for sure, for sure. Oh my gosh, I could also wear this to like a theme party, like maybe 70s, 80s kind of vibe. You guys, there are so many rock spurts in this room. Just to give you guys a little bit of a comparison, these are the ones that you can buy over at the Harry Potter shop online. So they are a different design. The pattern on them is different, the color is different. I think the size is nearly the same, although it does look that the glasses are smaller, but apparently both wearable sunglasses, I didn't even know about these. They sell them for 18 pounds, so that's roughly, I think, $21, which is a lot. This comes in a box as one of 12 items. Really fun start to the box and definitely something I am going to be taking with me to the Wizarding World. Next item comes in this box. Oh, I've seen this on Instagram because I didn't know I was going to get this box. So I've seen some spoilers and this was one of them. So this is a really cute heart-shaped bottle with a beautiful pink wax seal with a heart on it on top. It says Amor Eternum, beautifully bewitched love and beauty potions. I mean, this looks like it came straight out of the Weasley's Wizard Weezes shop. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. That's like the perfect, perfect color for a love potion. I think it's time for some candy. So we got some jumping jelly beans from Bailiwix Magical Sweets. I love that there are these two creepy kid faces at the sides. And this one is missing a tooth, so I hope that's not due to the jumping jelly beans. I mean, look at that box. That looks amazing. That's so cool. And at the back, it has the ingredients. I love their attention to detail. You know what they did? They put in this little cardboard thing with jelly beans all over it. So even if you empty this, there will still be jelly beans inside. I'm just gonna pick the one that is on top. It's purple. Ooh. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm still, like my brain is still debating if this was grape or sweaty socks. They're good, just jelly beans. There is, oh, it's already falling out. There was something inside. Oh my gosh, I'm getting the book covers now. I love those book covers. I have so many at this point. I think I have like six. And then I have another one, Transfiguration. It's looking good because I can see purple and I love purple. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is so perfect, you guys. I have like a little Gilroy Lockhart kind of area and now I can put this book in the background. I love that they use this kind of random guy that is just smiling at us. I love how he's like posing. Dwelling with dragons. There's, of course, a lot of gold foiling. Everyone's favorite wizard extraordinaire is back yet again to enchant and dazzle us with his latest account of heroic adventures alongside the most dangerous creatures on Earth. I mean, talking about attention to detail, the spine has this pattern of dragon skin. What more can I say about these book covers? They are amazing. This should be a thing. This should be a shop over at Universal. <laughs> this should be like an actual shop where you can buy magical book covers. That would be the best. Let's go for another box because yes, the Wizarding Trunk boxes are always packed. Do we have another potion? What is this? It's an empty bottle. <laughs> I was just, sorry, I was just like testing if it's truly empty. So this is a little hand soap pump that is Another brilliant idea. I have never seen this before. I love how it looks. We have this beautiful black bottle and it says Pure Blood Apothecary All Purpose Magical Mess Remover Hand Soap. I mean, I really like that idea. I just wish that I didn't just buy new hand soap from Rituals. Oh, of course, I can just empty that bottle in this bottle. Let's move on to some paper items now because I found three of them at the bottom. First up is this beautiful card that says Magical Pets. I think this is kind of an homage to all the magical pets in the books. So we've got Hedwig, Trevor, Crookshanks, uh, scabbers and of course a buckbeak and then for the slime lovers we have a 70 foot snake is that like a, a little wink to nagini anyways this is a beautiful postcard that you can actually send to your friends so that is awesome i love the little details with the stamps next up is this beautiful print it looks really colorful and these are three magical shops flora and granum clean sweeps and the bestiarium so this is definitely diagon alley but just their take on it and then the last paper item but definitely not the least is one of these pages magical creatures from a to z these are included in every box so also the special edition quarterly boxes and there will also be an item if i remember correctly to put these in. So that's very smart because now I wanna catch them all, wrong franchise. <laughs> no, but seriously, I do wanna collect them all because these are beautiful. On this page, we've got the letter F and it's just really fun to read them. So on this side, we have familiars and on the other side, flesh eating slug. Let's go over another box. This one is quite big it is protected so this is definitely a fragile item this is another one of the items that i had already seen on instagram and i love this this is such a good idea it's just a bunch of cauldrons on top of each other but it just fits this would fit on any shelf in any harry potter collection it almost looks like they're about to fall off they have this beautiful like bluish gray color how many are there one two three four five six 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 little cauldrons it can even look cute in your kitchen 
just to make it look a little bit more magical. I like it, very creative. Next up, I think we have a little notebook. This has to be designed by Wizardry Workshop, so same as the book covers. It says, the scriptorium, quality quills, and impeccable inks. The inside are these purple paint blobs, and then the notebook itself looks really weathered and old. That's so cool that they made it look like that. And there's even a purple ribbon. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in here. So just a blank notebook, but still it's, it's like the perfect size. It's a little bit smaller than normal notebooks. So it's easier to just take along with you. I just noticed the S of a scriptorium is a little bit creepy. Even if you're not a fan of notebooks, you're still gonna like this because you can just decide to let it live on your shelf and it will fit perfectly in your collection. Then there is the key. I believe this is included in every box and this must be a key to one of the magical shops. So let's see. Of course, it's a key to your vault. There's a big G on the key that of course stands for Gringotts. So we've got vault 688. I'm curious to hear if other people got the same number or maybe there's a bunch of different numbers. So let me know in the comments because if we all have the same vault, this is not going to work. I'm going to be honest here, even though I think this looks nice, it's not the best key that I've gotten from the Wizarding Trunk. When I imagine Gringotts keys, I imagine delicate, small, gold or bronze. And in the past, I've ordered a Gringotts key that came along with a letter and some Gringotts coins. And that is just really small, gold and delicate. And I do prefer that one over this one. Am I still going to display it? Yes. Then there is a little bottle that says the Bestiarium Red Tonic. Oh my gosh, it's a product of Alchemy for the Skin. So this is a usable item intended use for use on minor rashes cuts and abrasions and then it says the ingredients on the other side i mean even if i'm not going to use it again i can display it because the label looks so cool i have found another paper item this is ezekiel's quality wands and at the back it says exceptional wands made with only the finest quality woods and superior cores since 7056 so all of Anders, you have got some competition so this is just a little uh book that has different wands in it and then it tells you the length, the wood type, and the core. And then it has some like special designer ones <laughs> at the sides. And some even have these little scribbled notes. For example, this one says length nine and three quarters, wood type myrtle core crow feather, promotes happiness, joy, mischief, and playfulness. Even though this box keeps on giving, we have made it to the final item. And that is the pin. I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited to see what it is. I like that. <laughs> and this is, of course, Madame Malkins. But in this case, it just says MM. Worldly Wizarding Wears. And then the pin is in the shape of a rope. And there are these beautiful scissors in the middle. I don't think I have a pin that represents Madame Malkins or ropes. So that's lovely that I got one now. And I also really like the little details. They accentuated the bottom of the rope with these kind of silver lines. And I like that it's purple. So yeah, this is definitely a good pin if you ask me. And that was everything, everything in the Wizarding Trunk box. Oh, look at that. At the back of the spoiler sheet, it says the vile incantum, incantum, poisons and cursed curiosities. We have gotten a total of 14 items in this box. You know by now that I'm not going to read everything to you guys. You can just pause the screen if you want to read something about a certain item. But we are going to look at the sheet real quickly to see if I miss anything. I'm still confused about the red tonic. So is it usable or not? Because it just says, also designed for use on wizards and witches, simply apply to rashes, minor cuts, and abrasions. I feel like it is, but then 
I really could not open mine. It's probably because I don't have any muscle in my arms, but I feel like this should be usable. For the cauldrons, it says a range of cauldrons magically shrunken for easy transports. And yes, for the torn out magical creatures pages, there will be an item to store all the loose pages you've collected in the next wizarding trunk. Exciting times. I think I'm starting to repeat myself, but I am blown away by this box. I mean, the quality, the quantity, the wizarding trunk just works with so many good artists and they try to be creative and come up with these amazing themes. Overall, I, I liked all the items. I do have a favorite and least favorite. My favorite, and this is probably everyone's favorite by now, <laughs> is the book cover because they just look amazing. I wish that the Wizarding World would open a shop with these exclusive magical book covers. My least favorite item from this box is the Gringotts Vault Key, mainly because I already have one, but for people that are just starting their collection, this is still a good item. And it's just really fun that there's this little tag that says a vault 688. But for me, it's the least favorite of this box. But let's be honest here, the Wizarding Trunk is still killing it with their boxes and they're probably the best box at the moment. And that's not me being a rep and like saying these things. I have said these things before being a rep. <laughs> And I wanted to be a rep because they were such an awesome company. So yes, really happy, feeling really magical. And that is the purpose of these boxes. As always, let me know your thoughts on this box. What do you think of the theme magical shops? Favorite item, least favorite item? Spill it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.